everyone, and welcome to the Checkered Flag Racing Series. On a windy night here tonight on PCTS Checkered Flag Racing Series, we are at Flemington Speedway in Flemington, New Jersey. Should have a dynamite show for you tonight. You know, anytime you come to Flemington and you talk about the NASCAR Modifieds, now in the past, there was always a guy in the number 14 car, Tony Cisco. The car is here, Tony is not. And a good young driver by the name of John Blewett III gets the ride. Canio Costanzo, you're in the infield. What about this kid? Well, a tremendous story this is for John Blewett to have all the experience in the world with the Tony Siscone crew. Siscone last year retires after winning the race of champions here. He had a tremendous career here in Flemington. And now the young man from New Jersey, you're right, steps into some big shoes. Last week a winner, his first race in 95. He'll try for two in a row this week. We'll see what happens with that. When we're talking about John Blewett, he does double duty. Alongside in the booth, Fred Voorhees. And Fred, we'll also see him in one of the Daytona uh, late models out here tonight as well. That's right. He's driving Mike Nardine's number 92. Uh, I believe it's a Port City chassis. And if um, opening night proved one thing to us, we are going to have one exciting season. All four divisions produced a really exciting feature event last week. We should tell you, when we're talking about John Blewett the third. He won the modified feature in that number 14 car here last weekend. We'll see how he does when we come back on the Checkered Flag Racing Series. You're watching PCTN, where you get the event, not just the highlights. Well, right there in the middle of all that, in the 7A is Jimmy Wismer, Jr., out of Upper Black Eddy. Now, Jimmy Wismer had a great start here last year, and Fred Voorhees, we talked about that during the course of the break, but that's not the case here this year. <laughs> yeah, just about after 22 or 23 brides made finishes without a win at this track, uh, the beginning of last year, the first two or three uh, shows, Jimmy actually took the victory for his first ever here. The beginning of this year is not mirrored last year at all. We give you a look. Well, hi, everyone, and welcome to the Checkered Flag Racing Series. Today, here from Flemington Speedway in Flemington, New Jersey, on what is an absolutely superb afternoon. The sun begins to go down on a day that would have to be described as a 10. And that means the temperature's just in the 80s. Nice breeze here all afternoon. The sun has been out and been hitting on this track. It should make for a great night of racing. Well, hi, everyone. I'm Roger Snyder. Today on the Checkered Flag Racing Series, we have a very interesting format for you. Twin 20s for the Modifieds and, of course, the Daytona Late Models sandwiched in between. And one thing has become tradition here at Flemington Speedway, and that is great finishes. Fred Voorhees, what about it? Well, as you know, we got rained out the first two weeks. First two consecutive weeks, we got rained out trying to get the opener in, but it was worth the wait. Last week, the 18th, 30-lap NASCAR modified feature, we had the second half of the race, not a two-car battle, not a three-car battle, not even a four-car battle for the win. We had a five-car battle for the win, the lead, the whole ball of wax. We'll talk about that later. I know a lot of the drivers are very... Uh, much looking forward to the start of this one. Following a good weekend last weekend here, they're looking forward to getting this one underway. The Twin 20s and the Daytona Late Models coming up on the Checkered Flag Racing Series. But we all looked at the back of this man out of Slatington, Pennsylvania, Dale Kern, the winner of NASCAR Modified Heat Race number one. Sliding the PAs, Dale Kern, he says that was fun. How about it, Dale? It was a good run, I'm happy with that. Yeah, you look pretty good out there. Any changes for the feature event? Well, we're going to try to finish today. We just got the car done right that it feels good, so we're just going to take what we get. The car's finished. They feel like they're uh, ready for the feature. Dale Kern, ready for the 30-lap modified feature event tonight. Pete Britton, winner of the heat number two for the NASCAR Modifieds, looks like your new chassis man, Doug Walcott's getting the job done. Yeah, we had a real fast car last week, and we got a real fast car again tonight. And we had some bad luck last week, but uh, hope to turn that around tonight. Doesn't seem like we need any changes for the feature event. A uh, few minor ones. We weren't perfect out there, but uh, we'll make a few minor changes before the feature, and uh, we'll be right in there. After a few adjustments, Pete Britton looking to take at least one win in tonight's Twin 20 main events. Third out of Howell, New Jersey, the winner of NASCAR Modified Heat Race number three. Well, John Blewett getting into victory lane here at the Fleming Speedway and the NASCAR Modifieds getting to be old hat. I don't know about old hat, but uh, we've been getting there quite often, and uh, we like to keep it that way. How's the Dick Barney number 14 running tonight? 
Uh, everything's running pretty good. Uh, we were a little bit tight in the heat, believe it or not, but uh, we should be all right for the feature. You're ready for the feature. I hope so. Parking his yeah. mountain victory lane, Fred Orchard Jr., the winner of late model heat race number one. Morristown, New Jersey, it's Freddie Orchard. I don't want to sound corny, but you did have the A1 Bolt steak sauce car cooking. We did. It's a brand new car. It's a left-hander car, and we've only had about 30 laps on it. So we're real happy with the heat win. Happy enough to keep it the same for the feature event. We had a little push at the end. We'll make a few adjustments, and we'll be... He's out of Bridgewater, New Jersey, one late model heat race number two. Winner of that last late model heat event, Jimmy Matthew, seems like Steve putting money into my car so I could have the best parts, and it's the best car I ever had, and it's handling perfect, and I love the car. Thanks, Steve Moss and Moss Landscaping. We got some great weather today. Is it affecting the way the track is handling with the cars? Not really. My car was, was handling perfect no matter what, going right through the water slicks and everything. Perfect. Car's handling great. Okay, that's Jimmy uh, Matthews and the Moss Motorsports car. They're looking forward to tonight's feature event. Back the to you. The number car. Charlie Thon, the winner of late model heat race number three. Charlie Thon Jr., it must feel good to be in victory lane. The Lee Heighton Lincoln Mercury number nine got you there. Boy, it sure did. The Holy Heighton Lincoln Mercury crew is here tonight. I want to thank them and say hi to all them. Um, car felt fantastic. It's a real feeling to win at Flemington Speedway. Well, Kenny Woolley in the number 25 takes his first ever feature win. Kenny Woolley, the Twin 20s, famous for producing first-time winners. You've got your first one tonight at Flemington. How's it feel? Feels good. Uh, we we got through a couple of good wrecks here in the beginning of the race, and we got out front, and the uh, car tightened up a little bit. We get back in the pitch now, and hopefully we get a little better, and hopefully maybe we get two in a row. Weekly competition here at Flemington this year? Yes, we're going to try to run pretty much mostly all the shows this year. Maybe a couple tour shows conflicted, but uh, now... Uh, the, Pete and Ellis' car, I right, come on with them last year, and we got the modified this year. And uh, we had a real good run last week at Nazareth, and we're just playing it good here tonight. The 1995 New Egypt Speedway champion looking to possibly do the same thing here at Flemington in 1996. Back up to you, Roger. The You're looking at the Moss Landscaping the number 21 of Bridgewater, New Jersey's Jimmy Matthews. Tonight's winner of the late model feature event. Jimmy, your entire record for last year, as far as wins are concerned, was just one. You've already got that tied on opening night. What are you going to do to top that? Well, we just got to um, build a team effort. We went down to Florida over the winter, got some practice, and we found out that you didn't need a full pit crew. Everybody has to be dedicated to drivers. When they say on NASCAR on TV that they can pit crew, they really mean it. You need a pit crew to get everything perfect for the car. That's how you would run up front. And if you have a good car, you don't wreck as much, and hopefully you'll be in it for the points. Moss Landscaping, a new sponsor on the car this year. They must be happy. Very happy. He's racing tonight at Bridgeport. He's already got six wins down there. I do the mechanic work on his car. He's racing tonight. Hopefully he had a good finish down there on the dirt. Congratulations, Jimmy. Jimmy Matthews, he won one time last year. First night of the season for the late models. He's already got that one tied. 